Happy Monday, 7th and 8th graders. Here are your solutions to your practice problems that you worked on on Friday. Remember, we just practiced all last week solving two-step equations because that's something that you want to not forget before you start next year. Okay, so there's your solutions to those. And then this week, we're just going to introduce a couple of steps that sometimes come before you can solve an equation. Sometimes you have to take care of some things before you can solve an equation. Okay, so if you copy these two problems down, and let's look at this first one. And what happens sometimes, and I know that you guys have done this before, so we're going to review it. Um, if you see here, it says 9c minus 5c plus 5 equals 25. So there's something that we have to take care of before we can solve it. And when you have like terms that are together on one side, then you have to combine them. It's called combining like terms. I know you've heard that before. Okay, so in this case, we have a 9c and we also have a negative 5c. One of the things that sometimes confuses kids is you have to remember the sign that's directly in front of the number is the sign that belongs to that number. So this here with no sign is a positive 9c. This is a negative 5c. So we're going to have to combine those up, 9c and negative 5c. Remember, combining is like adding them together. So you have 9c plus negative 5c, which is basically 9 minus 5. So you have 4c's. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this. We're going to write 4c plus 5 equals 25. And now we have an equation just like what we worked on last week, which should be pretty easy for you to solve by now. We start by subtracting the 5. We have 4c equals 20. Then divide by 4, and you get c equals 5. Okay, I'll leave that there so you can write it down. Um, let's look at this next one. It says 8x plus 3 minus 2x equals negative 21. So if I look over here on this side together, that's why I draw the line down the equal sign where the balance is, because we need to see if the, if the like terms are on the same side together. When they're on the same side together, we're going to combine them up. So I have a positive 8x and a negative 2x. And a positive 8 and a negative 2 combined would leave me with 6x plus 3 equals negative 21. Okay, and then I'm left with a regular two-step equation, which, which you're really good at. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides and rewrite it. I've got 6x and a negative 21 minus 3 is negative 24. And then the last thing I need to do is divide by 6. So divide by 6, and I end up with x equals negative 4. Is negative 24 divided by 6 is negative 4. Okay? I'm going to pause you, and we'll do a couple more together. Okay, we'll do a couple more together. And I threw in a little bit more for you. So let's look at this first one. Go ahead and copy these down. I always want to draw the line at the equal sign so that I can see what I've got together on what side. So all of this stuff over here is together on the same side, which means I'm going to have to combine up the like terms. And in this case, I've got a 3x, I've got a negative 2x, and a positive 6x. They're all x's, so they can all be combined up together. So 3x minus 2x would just give me 1x, and then plus 6x gives me a total of 7x. So I'm going to rewrite it, and I have 7x. And here, I'm looking, I'm left with a positive 5, and there's no other like terms. There's no other plain whole numbers, so I'm just going to leave it as 7x plus 5 equals 33. Okay, then I've... Um, Got a regular two-step equation, so I'm going to subtract 5, and I get 7x equals 28. My last step would be divide by 7, and I get x equals 4. Okay. Now on this last one, I'm going to go ahead and draw 
a line. I've got negative 5c minus c plus 8 minus 5, and they're all on the same side together, so I'm going to have to combine up the like terms. I'm going to start with the c's, and I see I've got a negative 5c and a negative c. Okay, and when there's no number there, that's just 1c. We don't have to have a 1. So I've got negative 5c minus another c. So all together I have negative 6c's. So negative 6c. And this one's a little bit different than the others that I showed you because we have two whole numbers, two plain whole numbers that also have to be combined up. Those are considered like terms because they have no variable. So we've got a positive 8 and a negative 5. I'm going to circle those so I know those are different than the others. So positive 8 and negative 5 together would be 3. Okay, just like 8 minus 5. So positive 3, and then I can continue to rewrite it, equals 21. Nothing's happening on the other side yet because the 21 was just over there by itself. Okay, everything happened over here. We had to combine everything up. Now I'm ready to solve this just like a regular equation. I can subtract 3 from both sides, and I get negative 6c equals 18. And so then my last step is just divide by 6. And I end up with c equals negative 3. Okay, so just like last week, we're just adding in one extra step, which is combining like terms. When you get an equation that has like terms in it, you've got to combine those up first. Okay, let me give you some practice problems. There you go. There's six, just like what we just did. Okay, have a great Monday. I miss you. I'll see you back Wednesday. If you would like credit for these, turn them in by Tuesday night.